Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time. Now I did do a video called 30 random facts about myself and in that video one of the facts was me struggling with weight issues and I told you guys if you guys wanted me to make a video on that to let me know. A lot of you guys told me that yes you wanted me to make a video on my weight issues and sharing with you guys my struggles. Now I've never opened up and made myself vulnerable to this topic. There's a lot of things that I'm planning on sharing with you guys that I've never shared with any of my family or friends. So this video might be a little hard for me to film, but if it can help just one person out there that may be struggling with the same issues that I've struggled with in the past and still do struggle with, then it was totally worth putting myself out there and making myself vulnerable to share with you guys my story. Now, my story is basically about how I've always had an obsession with being skinny and being a certain size and certain weight. I'm going to throw it back all the way to when I was a very young girl when I was in elementary and middle school. Now when I was in elementary and middle school, I don't feel like I really cared or it was really a problem about me being skinny. I was always on the thinner side. I've always had a fast metabolism right now. Obviously, now that I'm older, I don't have a very fast metabolism like I did when I was younger. But when I was a young girl, I did have a pretty fast metabolism. And I also feel like when I was a young girl, we didn't play inside much. We were always outside. We were always active, running around the neighborhood. So not only did I have a fast metabolism, but I was always out playing. So I was having a lot of exercise. But anyways, when I was younger, like I said, I've always been skinny. I'm also really tall. So when I was a young girl, I've always been the tallest friend, the tallest girl in the class, anywhere, always the tallest girl. So combination of being really skinny and super tall, I've just always been picked on about being tall and skinny. And I also feel like a lot of people feel like it's okay to call girls or boys, anyone who is skinny or underweight, call them names and to pick on them, calling them anorexic skinny anything they think that that's okay but it's only not okay when you call someone names who is overweight and that's one thing that ticks me off it's it's not okay to do any of that just like it's not okay to pick on someone who is overweight it's not okay to do something like that to someone who is skinny so i did get picked on when i was younger a lot of people would call me jolly green giant they would call me string bean they would call me anorexic they would call me a stick they would say I look like a stick so I did get picked on a lot when I was younger for my weight and how skinny I was but for some reason it really didn't affect me I honestly did not care when I was younger I never thought about my weight I never wanted to be a certain size or super skinny it just never crossed my mind until I hit high school I would say my freshman year is when I really started thinking about my weight and really wanting to look like a certain figure or a certain type of girl. I've always compared myself to other girls, which is never good. I know a lot of girls do that and still do that. And I would always compare myself to other girls and ask myself why I did not look like them or why wasn't I as skinny as them or why my body didn't look like them. So that's when I first started, I guess you can say, struggling with weight issues. Um, and that's when I first started dieting. Now, from high school to now that I am 31, I have literally tried every single diet that you can think of. I have yo-yo dieted, I have restricted myself, I have deprived myself, I have done so many things because I want it to be skinny. Now in ninth grade, I did have a friend, I'm not going to say her name or share her name because it's not my place to put her business out there, but I did have a friend in high school and she was pretty much on the same, I guess you can say, train as me of wanting to be skinny and having this mindset of that you she wanted to be a certain weight like me. And I remember we both would restrict ourselves and go on these diets and all this stuff. And I remember she got to a point where she was tired of starving herself because she was always hungry just like me. And she started making herself throw up. I remember the first time she did it, I asked her, about it because i was like well that's not fair i want to be able to eat whatever i want to eat but i also want to be skinny as well so i asked her a bunch of questions on how she made herself throw up how she felt after the process everything and then i decided to do it myself this is something that i've never shared with anyone i've never told anyone but i decided to do the same thing and in ninth grade i decided just to 
binge and eat whatever I wanted. And then I made myself throw up. I went to the bathroom and made myself throw up. Um, now that was the only time I've ever done that. I did that and after that, I just never did it again. That just was not for me. So that was the only time I ever did that. And then I went back to just restricting myself and dieting. And I honestly don't know what weight I was trying to lose because I was like a zero one in high school. But for some reason I thought I was fat. So I was dieting all throughout high school. And then after high school, I started not caring anymore. And I started drinking, I started eating whatever I wanted and I gained weight. And I only went up to like a size three. And that's not even a big size, but I went up to like a size three. And then I honestly did not think about it. I didn't care for a few years, I would say. For a long time, I didn't care about my weight again. I just was living my life and not thinking about it. And then I would say about three years ago, this is when my sister was about to get married, is when I would say it probably got the worst other than the time in ninth grade when I made myself throw up. But I would say this is probably the worst just because... Like I told you guys, I'm a really tall girl. I am 5'8", or a little over 5'8", and I got down to 109 pounds. Now, 109 pounds to some of you guys might be a healthy weight because you may be shorter than me, but for someone that is my height, 109 pounds is not a healthy weight. So I got down to 109 pounds because I wanted to be skinny again, and I was starting to compare myself to a lot of other people. Mind you, I had just finished having two kids, I am older, so my metabolism is not as fast as when I was younger. I was much more active when I was younger. So I just wasn't as skinny as I wanted to be. So I started starving myself. I started restricting myself again. I started dieting. I remember I downloaded two different apps to count all of my calories. I know my fitness pal was one of them. I'm not sure what the second one was, but I would literally count every single calorie. I would not let myself go over, not even half of a calorie. I would rather be under calories than to be over. So that's what I was doing. I was counting all of my calories. I was restricting myself. I was starving myself because it even got to a point where I would lie and say I didn't feel good or had a headache or was tired just to go to sleep earlier in the night so I wouldn't make myself eat or I wouldn't be tempted to eat. So I'd put the kids to bed like at eight o'clock and then I would go to sleep myself because I was hungry and I knew if I stood up then I would probably eat and I didn't want to eat. So I would go to sleep super early to prevent myself from eating I even got to a point where i don't know if this happens to you guys when you guys are super hungry your stomach starts to burn your stomach starts to hurt or you get a headache i would always have headaches i would always have my stomach hurting i would always have my stomach burning because i was so hungry but i would keep myself from eating and i would like drink water to try to fill myself up or i would just eat like five crackers and then like a huge cup of water to try to fill myself up as well and I'm going to try to find a few pictures of when I was like 109 pounds. Um, if I do, I'll insert those pictures. Now there's one picture of me in a dress when I was trying on dresses for my sister's wedding that I have that I will insert. And it took me looking at that picture to realize that I was just way underweight and way too skinny. Mind you, before this, a lot of family and friends were telling me that I was too skinny and that I needed to gain weight. But for some reason, when family and friends would tell me that I was underweight and too skinny, for some reason, it would trigger something and it would get me more upset and more mad. And then I would restrict myself even more and I would put myself in a darker hole when I would be told that I needed to gain weight. I would get so mad. Like, I would get super irritable and it would just throw me back in a black hole all over again. And I think I was just going through random pictures and I found the picture of me in the dress and I realized, wow, I was just way too skinny. And then I started changing my ways again. So long story short, I started eating more. I started exercising more. And I also didn't mention to you guys, I also was working out two to three times a day when I was trying to lose weight and to be skinny. And I thought that only cardio could make you skinny. I was scared of like lifting weights because I thought that was going to make you big and bulky. I did not want to gain any weight. I didn't want to be bulky. I just wanted to be skinny. And I would literally work out two to three times a day. I would even wrap garbage bags around like my stomach, my legs, my arms, so I could sweat more and lose more weight that way. And now three years later, I am not 109 pounds anymore. I have gained a lot of weight from that time. 
and I'm also not scared to weight lift and it's crazy because I never thought that I would actually enjoy weight lifting but I do I hate cardio now I never want to do cardio but when it comes to like weight lifting I love it I'm not in that mindset anymore of only wanting to be skinny two three years ago all I wanted to be was skinny I didn't care about my health I didn't care about looking healthy I didn't care about being toned I just wanted to be skinny and now I feel like my mindset is completely different now I want to be healthier I want to live a healthier lifestyle for not only myself but for my kids I want to actually build on muscle I need to get back into my workout routines but now I'm more focused on toning and just looking healthy. I don't care about what number I am on the scale or what size I am. As long as I am happy in my own body, then that is all that matters. Now, am I 100% happy with the body that I have now and the weight that I'm at now? No, I will admit that. No, I am not. But I'm definitely not at that mindset where I want to be super skinny again. I don't want to go back to that dark place that I was before because, because when I was in that place, I was always moody. I was always irritable. I was always in a bad mood and I don't want to ever go back to that place. So I hope that I will never get back to that place, but I am human. So I'm not going to say I'm never going to go back to that place because you don't know what the future holds. You don't know what can happen. But as of right now, I don't see myself ever going back to that place that I was. And now I'm just focused on being healthy and living a happy lifestyle in moderation. I don't starve myself anymore. I don't count calories anymore. I even deleted my apps. I had the My Fitness Pal and the other one completely deleted that. Don't have that anymore. I used to have a scale in my bathroom. I took that scale out of my bathroom so I wouldn't be tempted to weigh myself. And I'm also trying to stop comparing myself to other people, I will admit, I still do that. I will still compare myself to other people. It's something that I have to work on. But like I said, I am human and not everyone is perfect. And it's something that I will have to work on with myself. But overall, I think that I am definitely at a better place than I was two to three years ago. So it was hard for me to open up and share with you guys that I made myself throw up in ninth grade and that I got down to 109 pounds and I looked at myself in the mirror and thought I was fat and I've never really opened up like this and shared this side of my life with anyone I have talked about it with friends a few times before but I never went into detail I guess you can say about how bad it was um so I honestly don't even know how all over the place this video is going to be or if it even makes sense to any of you guys so I'm not even sure if I'm going to upload this video. After I edit it, I will see how it turns out and whether or not I am going to upload it or not. But at the end of the day, I think that anyone who is struggling with weight, they definitely should get the help that they need. I've never seen a therapist or anyone to help me and I'm pretty sure I probably should have because I got to a really dark place where it was really hard to pull myself out of that hole. And I feel like if I would have went to get help or went to talk to a therapist or someone that it could have helped me. But when I was in that place, I guess I didn't think about it. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys are struggling with anything like this, definitely reach out to someone and try to talk to someone, whether it's a therapist or a best friend or a family member, because that can always help. Also, I know I'm not a therapist, I'm not a doctor, and I may not have the best advice, but if any of you guys need someone to talk to, you can always email me or email me on Instagram. I have all my information down in the description box down below. Sometimes it just takes talking to someone who can actually relate to you to be able to open up and feel a little better. So if you need someone to talk to, you can always contact me. Like I said, my contact information is in my description box. So yeah, that is going to be the end of my story time. Hopefully, like I said, this video isn't all over the place and hopefully you guys enjoyed me opening up to you guys and being vulnerable because sometimes you have to be. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's story time. Remember to please give this video a thumbs up because it took a lot for me to open up and actually share with you guys my struggles. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Like I said, also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.